Ah, Mega Man X. This game has mad sack. This will quite possibly forever be my favorite Super Nintendo game. And one of my favorite games in general. It's a much say darker and more I don't know about believable necessarily, but much more fleshed out Mega Man game. You definitely feel like you're in the future here, given the robots you're fighting and the lack of the... Uh, how do I put this? Cle not necessarily cliche, but... The corniness factor. You know, you had Fireman, Cold, or uh, Iceman, Cutman, and everything was a man and the old Mega Mans. And it was a future that didn't look all that futuristic a lot of the times at the end of the game. Or even at the beginning, when you see cities. This one, you know where you are. It's just you've got excellent atmosphere, excellent everything. And the gameplay is extremely solid. And for an opening level, which every Mega Man X has a as an opening level that is unrelated to any of the regular enemy levels. The opening level to this game is just bad as hell. Running along a highway fucking shit up. It's just badass. But, uh... For anybody who has not, or maybe in a long time, has not played Mega Man X, the original, you'll notice that you're basically a slightly more powerful version of Mega Man from Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 1, in that you have a charged shot, which has two levels. Now, I never played past Mega Man 4, so I don't know if the big-ass charged shot came in then or if it was introduced here. I do know that Mega Man 4 had essentially the equivalent of the green level blast that you can use in this. But... Sometimes those huge charge shots are not your best bet. Sometimes a good itchy trigger finger is the best thing you can have. Just lay into somebody with little pellets. Uh, but you'll notice your mobility sucks. You can't slide. And you do not have the super jump ability, as you will later. And then you get to fight this guy, who basically shows you how much you suck right now. Yeah, just let him kick your ass. I like to give him a little bit of a fight just to make myself feel better. But bear in mind that he can actually kill you if you don't let him hit you with those little energy orbs that he shoots. And then here we have the introduction of Zero, who at this time was much simpler. Basically a Mega Man on steroids. Doesn't have a lightsaber or any shit like that yet. Just a big-ass gun. 